Welcome back, my artist friends. Are you ready to continue your stained glass project? Let's practice the name of our artist first. I'll say Margaret McDonald and you say Macintosh. Margaret McDonald. Margaret McDonald. Margaret McDonald. Nice work. Now, can you say Margaret McDonald and I'll say Macintosh? Macintosh. 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 Good job. Let's remind ourselves about Margaret MacDonald and her art. For most of her life, Margaret MacDonald Macintosh lived and worked all the way across the ocean in a city called Glasgow in Scotland. Margaret MacDonald Macintosh worked closely with her sister, her husband, and her sister's husband, who were also artists. She made art with many different kinds of materials. Take a look at this painting called The May Queen. Do you see all of the lines and flowers in this painting? What other details do you notice? Here is a work she made with fabric and thread. Look at the lines and the shapes. They look like the lines and shapes we saw in her painting. What shapes do you see? What colors do you notice? Do you see any patterns? And here is a work that she made in stained glass. These are small colored pieces of glass that are put together to make a design. Do you notice that round rose and the lines and shapes she used? We're going to make our own artwork inspired by the flowers that we see in Margaret MacDonald Macintosh's work. We'll use tissue paper and wax paper to make our art look like stained glass. We're done with our stems and leaves and it's time to add flowers. In your art packet, you have some bigger pieces of tissue paper. We are going to cut those into shapes to make our flowers. You'll need a pair of scissors. Your scissors should have a small hole and a long hole. Your thumb goes in the small hole and your fingers go in the long hole. As many fingers as you can fit. You might be able to fit all four. We work our scissors by opening our hand and then squeezing it closed. Opening our hand and squeezing it closed. Open, closed, open, closed. I'm going to begin with this orange piece of paper. Open my scissors and I'll make a cut. Now if I want this to be more round, I can just cut off the corners like this. That works. Now I'm going to glue it on where I want this flower to be. I'm going to put my glue right on my wax paper and then stick it on. That's a good spot for it. I'll move these extra pieces out of the way. And now I need to make petals for my flower. I can choose any of the colors that are in my art packet. I'm going to choose pink. I'm getting ready to cut, so I put my thumb in the round hole and my fingers in the long hole. And the point of my scissors faces away from me. I'm going to open, close, open, close and cut some petals. We'll glue these on the same way. Put glue on your wax paper and then stick your petal in the glue. Glue. 
this one is a little too fat for my flower, so I'm gonna make it skinnier. Now it's perfect. This one is crossing over my center. I'm going to pull it off and put it on again. There we go. Let's make some more flowers. I'll cut my piece of tissue paper and glue on my petals. Keep going until you've added all your flowers to your beautiful stained glass. When you're all done with your stained glass flowers, return your project to school and we will iron another piece of wax paper on top so that the flowers don't fall off. Wonderful art making, friends. Let's practice the artist cheer one last time. I'll say Margaret MacDonald, you say Macintosh. Margaret MacDonald. Margaret MacDonald. Margaret MacDonald. <laughs>